on SmackDown, they opened with uh, the tag team championship match between the Usos and the New Day's 24 minutes almost. Uh, I thought this was a really good match. Lots yep. of really fun near falls. Um, the Usos won, so uh, they keep the they keep the titles. And what it, what is 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 it? The, what's the record? Is it the record of all time? For WWE, it would be the longest most days on Monday. They will they will either tie or set the record, but they're setting it, you know, because they're not going to lose the title right away. So. And uh, they're not going to be depending on the pay per view. The pay per view is going to be um, Roman, the Usos, Solo, and Sami Zayn against McIntyre, Sheamus, Rich Holland, Butch, and a player to be named later. You know, so I don't know if that's the only men's pay per view uh, War Games match, or there will be more than one. But it's but it's definitely a ten man tag, and uh, you know that that's coming up. Finish was uh, really good. Kingston did a dive off the top rope, but the Usos hit the 1D as he was diving to win the match. And then Roman Reigns congratulated them for their victory in the locker room. You know what kind of alarmed me is I saw Roman Reigns get out of that chair as he started. <laughs> oh, it's like. Oh, just like me with the hips, 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 hips issue. He he got out of that chair like I get out of a chair. That is not good. Well, look, he's a pro wrestler. Yeah. He takes a lot of beatings. Oh, my gosh. But, you know, and, and before that, he was a football player. Yes. You know, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, from, from childhood. So his body's taken a lot of beatings. Um, but, yes, when he was getting out of the chair, I noticed the same thing. It was like, it was like he's a hurting guy, which that's probably one of the reasons he's, he's cut down on his schedule. Yeah. You know, because he's a hurting guy and probably explained it to them. I'm hurt. You know, I mean, it's like I'm hurting and. And they're probably like, you know, I mean, we want to keep you around as long as we can. So probably not doing as many matches. But Sa uh, yeah, I noticed the same thing. Santos Escobar beat Shinsuke Nakamura in the first round of the World Cup. And this is where Michael Cole talked about Nakamura against the great Muda on New Year's Day. Did not say the promotion, but did say Budokan Hall. Uh, which is interesting. But the tickets are going very well for that match. Um, I don't have a number, but it's, uh, you know, the best advance for an always show in a long, long time. Um, you know, like long, long time. So um, this is a match that for, you know, I mean, I, I think in Japan, just the novelty of Nakamura being back and not on a WWE show is kind of a big deal. And, you know, again, Nakamura is, is one of the big stars of the modern generation of Japanese wrestlers. And Muda is probably of all the active wrestlers. Um, I'd say with the exception of Fujinami, he's the most well-known to the general fans, you know, to the public just because of his longevity and being on top when, when more people were following wrestling, you know, during the nineties, the Muda Chono Hashimoto era, but all those guys that were, you know, like the top tier guys, they're all retired. Every one of them, but Muda, and he'll be retired soon. Uh, you know, February also. So the countdown, like the countdown has gotten attention in every match, but this seems to be like, this one's actually selling. And it is interesting, you know, that um, Noah went to Tony Khan, you know, and asked basically for his blessing or his permission to do this, you know, because Tony Khan had made the deal to send Sting. And Tony Khan said, you know, it's fine by me. He wouldn't, he wouldn't stand in his way. So, um, you know, I, I I think that um, if the shoe was on the other foot, well, who knows what would happen if the shoe was on the other foot now? I mean, if it was Vince, I know what would happen. But with with Levesque, you know, it's like, I don't know for sure what would happen. He hasn't been put in that position yet. Uh, we uh, And so <clears throat> Santos Escobar won the match. Uh, he had a middle rope phantom driver for the win uh, after... Uh, there was a distraction uh, at some point and uh, he advances to the semifinals in two weeks. Yeah. Uh, LA Knight Bray Wyatt segment uh, Bray Wyatt knocked him down and, and walked away. And I, I guess this is going to turn into a match. It's going to be like a TV match or survivor series or what maybe it'll be here? something for survivor series just to give Bray like a two minute win. You know, I don't know. 
Uh, and then we had this is this was something else. Number one contender six way match: Shotzi, Liv, Raquel, Sonia Deville, Lacey Evans, and Xyli. And I thought I was like, man, you know, th- this division. If, if this is your six way match, this is a little rough. Well, Natty, Natty's hurt, so she's out. No Shayna. Uh, they didn't put Shayna in because she's affiliated with Ronda at this point. And so, yeah, you had uh, that was that. So you had you to bring Zia Lee and and Lacey Evans back, who haven't really even been used. There was a very uh, well. Poor... The they did. They didn't use Emma. Yeah, she was she was in the next segment, but they did not yeah, use they, her in they the did match. Not use her. Did not use her in the match. Yeah. There was a very badly missed table spot that was yes. supposed to be kind of the big thing of the whole match, and they just missed it and they didn't do anything they they just left they, it they fell down there the, there was a, a miscommunication um from what i understand in the sense that it wasn't supposed to be like that but it got changed like at the last second and i don't know if everyone knew and Liv was was Liv who was the one who like dove off the barricade but didn't get far enough because originally you know it was going to be a different spot and from what I gather, when they were going to the ring, it got changed, and maybe Liv didn't hear about the change. So that's that was the result. But Shotzi was always winning, obviously. Um, and it just feels like they're just they had Shotzi win to give Ronda, I don't want to say an easy match, but a you know, a, a quicker, more devastating win than perhaps. But you know, it probably would have been that case with anyone in this match, except for maybe Liv. And she's they they wouldn't go back to that one or just this this quick, I don't think. So Emma congratulated Shotzi uh she's looking for Madcap Moss Shotzi oh. believes that she's got the hots for Madcap so we're doing a romance uh and then uh Shayna approaches Shotzi and uh, she chokes her out while Rhonda is just watching so there is your number one contender yeah it's choked yeah. out right in front of Rhonda right uh, but Shayna. but she is going to beat Shayna next week so she'll get her revenge for that one. Uh, Ricochet interview with my Ma- uh, against Ma- he's going to face Mustafa Ali. Imperium showed up next Friday. Yeah. Uh, Gunther wants Ricochet to win so he can beat him up again. Uh, Braun Strowman against Jinder Mahal. Now, when I looked at the uh, when I looked at the uh, bracket for this this tournament, I was like, wow, this uh, the bracket is actually really good when it comes to wrestling. And then I saw Braun Strowman in this tournament and i was like uh he's the one that sort of stands out as uh someone who you know not necessarily the 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 worker that that some of these other guys are also is does he represent the usa like how does this how did this tournament get created i i I, you know it 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 wasn't like everyone had to be from a different country because there's a couple of americans in there but i think they did want more of international flavor and they got most you know most people they got people from you know whatever it was five six different countries so um yeah you know and as far as like who's gonna win um you know whoever it is is someone who they want to put the uh you know put in there with um gunther next most you know i mean not most likely i mean it is that is what the winner's gonna get he beat jinder mahal in a minute 38 yeah well that was gonna happen and then zelina vega and b fab we're going to have a match and i thought oh my god oh my god would that be bad yeah they're going to ruin b-fab and hit row all over again but it didn't happen the viking raiders and sarah logan came out and attacked both teams and they left them laying Mm -hmm. last segment was roman reigns comes out gets interrupted uh brawling brutes drew mcintyre sheamus poor sheamus his uh, microphone didn't work yeah. when he was coming out to to do his promo against Roman, and Roman just laughing at him. But they ended with a brawl, so like you said, that looks to be the War Games match. I totally mm. forgot this story until just now, and it happened when I was a kid, and so I think there's a decent chance that I, it could have been like a dream. Yes. And so like I was chopping the tree, and uh, I just remember looking up, and all of a sudden, like this was a weird thing. I remember I looked up and there were Ewoks in the tree. That was definitely a dream. And I saw it coming down. And all of a sudden I was like, I woke up later. This is the weird thing he says. 
Yeah, it is. well, it is weird. Lot weird about it. It is weird. There were Ewoks in the tree. Yeah, that's weird. If you enjoy these videos for just seven dollars and ninety nine cents per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo, and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.